Hello everyone, my name is Tao. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you the fundamental knowledge that you need to start with Python programming. Python is one of the most popular programming languages nowadays. Let's first take a look at why Python is so popular. First, people can use Python to do many cool things like artificial intelligence machine learning, websites, and applications. Second, Python is very easy to use. Creating Python programs is so straightforward that it has been called programming at the speed of a thought. Third, Python is free and open source. That means you can install it on your computer and never pay a penny. Python also has a very strong community. That means you can build your work upon other people's works. You do not need to start from scratch when you start programming. Next, I'm going to show you how to set up your development environment. We are going to download two things, Python package and a code editor. Why do we need a code editor? That's because the code editor that comes with Python is not user-friendly. So we need a code editor to help us program more efficiently. The one that I used the most is called PyCharm. In this video, I'm going to use the PyCharm as our code editor. Without further ado, Let's get started. To download a Python, let's open a browser and head over to python.org. Let's click on this download button. You can see here, as of today, the latest Python version is 3.11.4. And if you are a Windows user, you can just click this button. And if you are a Mac user, so you need to click here and then find the corresponding version you want to install. All right, we have successfully downloaded a Python. And let's double click Python installation package. Here you can click install now. But before we do that, please be sure that you check this button. Add python.exe to path. This is very important because if you do not check this uh, box, you will not be able to follow the entire tutorial. Next, let's click uh, Install Now button. It might take a few minutes, so I will pause for recording. All right. We have successfully installed Python package. Let's close this. Now, if you search on your computer, you can find this uh, app. Let's click on it. And then you can see there is a window pops up. This is called a Python terminal. You can execute simple programs here. For example, if you have uh, one or two lines of a uh, program, you can just uh, execute it uh, here. Or you can have a quick check of your rough idea here. I'm going to show you how to print something on the screen. Let's print uh, Hello World on screen and then hit uh, enter. You can see we have successfully printed a Hello World. However, when we are actually programming, we do not use uh, Python terminal. Python terminal is only used to show the results of our program. When we are actually programming, we need a code editor. That makes our life easier. So there is a code editor that comes with uh, Python. It's called Edo. Let's double click it. 
and take a look. There is a window pops up. This is called a add a shell. Add a shell pretty much has the same function as the Python terminal. You can execute a simple codes here. For example, I'm going to print a hello world here and hit enter. You can see it has exactly the same function as Python terminal. When we are going to program, we would need to first create a new file. And this will be our Python file. Let's uh, print something on the screen. I'm going to print the same string on the screen. It's called a hello world. And in order to execute uh, this piece of code, I would first need to save it on my computer. So I'm going to limit uh, hello world. You can see here I got this uh, warning. That's because I have already got a Python code with the same name. So I'm going to replace it. And now if you click uh, run and run module, you can see hello world has been printed uh, on the screen. So it's exactly the same as we put this sentence here. And uh, add shell is only used to show results of our program. The advantage of using code editor is that we can change this uh, easily and um, it's very tidy or we can just uh, copy this multiple times i change the second one to how are you and uh, then um, great then we would first need to save it again you can use you can click file save or you can use this uh, shortcut hit control plus s and then click run run module you can see three pieces of codes have been executed that's the advantage of using this code editor however this code editor is still very simple and uh, it's not uh, very convenient to use that's why in this tutorial, we are going to need another code editor. It's called a PyCharm. Next, I'm going to show you how to install PyCharm. To install PyCharm, let's go to getbrings.com slash PyCharm and hit enter. Here we are on PyCharm page. And here, this is a brief introduction of PyCharm, the Python IDE for professional developers. IDE shorts for Integrated Development Environments, which is basically a code editor. It's very popular as it has some additional features to make our programming more efficient. Then we click uh, on Download. On Download page, you can see you can select uh, which platform you are going to use PyCharm. I'm a Windows user, so I'm going to go with uh, the default one. And also you can see here there are two versions of PyCharm available on this website. One is called PyCharm Professional. The other one is the PyCharm Community. PyCharm Professional is a paid software. So here you can see it's only free for first 30 days. However, it has some uh, additional features. In this tutorial, we are going to use PyCharm Community because it's free. And uh, the these free features are already more than enough for this tutorial. So let's click Download. Now we have successfully downloaded uh, PyCharm. Let's double click it to install PyCharm. This will be pretty straightforward. You just click next 
And if you are happy with the default uh, path, just click uh, next. And if you wanted to create a desktop shortcut, just click this one. And then click next. And next. It will take uh, a couple of minutes, so I'm going to pause the video. All right, we have successfully installed a Python community. Now we can click uh, finish. Now if you search on your computer, you will find uh, this app. Let's click on it. So this interface will be the interface when you first open PyCharm. We will first create a new project. Let's call it, uh, then you can see this is the default path where you will store your Python code. Let's go with uh, Hello World. And before we hit create, you will first need to check base interpreter. Make sure this pass is exactly the Python pass that we have installed earlier. This is very important because PyCharm is a code editor. It doesn't know how to interpret your Python code, but Python package knows how to do that. So we have to link PyCharm to Python. Then let's hit create. This will take a few seconds and uh, PyCharm will create a folder and create a virtual environment for you. Once we have created a project, we already have a main dot Python. So this is a the basic structure of a Python program. However, we do not need this. We can just delete it. Or you can just delete the main dot Python and create a new one. I'm going to create a very simple program. Print Hello World. Or you can let's create another one. So there is a a very cool feature in PyCharm. So when you print a P, so all functions in Python that start with P will comes up. So you can just click uh, select the first one by double click it, and then you can create uh, your name like uh, by name here. Then you can just uh, save uh, the file using Ctrl plus S. Or you can go here and click File and click uh, Save All. It's the uh, same thing. And in order to run this uh, main.py, you can click here. Run main and click uh, this uh, Play logo. And it you can see here our code has uh, been executed successfully. And this is our Python terminal. So in PyCharm, we have both code editor and uh, Python terminal within the same interface.